Welcome to a demonstration of how to create user knowledge bases of functional groups for use in the Know-It-All Analyze at IR, Raman, and Polymer IR applications. Analyze at IR, Raman, and Polymer IR are Know-It-All applications that help users to interpret spectra using functional group analysis. A new feature has been added to the Analyze it applications so that users can now build their own knowledge bases with functional groups and corresponding bands from their own data. These knowledge bases can then be used in conjunction with Know-It-All's knowledge bases to determine the functional groups in a spectrum. In this demo movie, we will show how to build and use a knowledge base. We will show only Analyze it IR in this example since the process is the same in the other applications. We begin in the Analyze It IR application found in the Spectral Analysis Toolbox. Open the Knowledge Base menu and choose New. Use the Save As dialog box to specify the location and name for your user knowledge base. The file type, Sattler Knowledge Base, cannot be changed. The first step is adding the first classification. Right-click in the Functional Group tree to get started. Type in the name of the classification. To make sure the classification appears in the correct order when browsing a functional group, add a unique identifier to the end of the classification name. Next, right-click the name of the classification in the Functional Group tree, then Choose Add Functional Group. The Functional Group dialog box opens. Use it to type in the functional group name, browse to and specify the reference spectrum, and add optional notes about the reference spectrum. Note that numbers are automatically subscripted and other special formatting, superscripts, triple bonds, arrows, and Greek letters can be added using the displayed codes. Next, we add a reference spectrum. We'll use one of the know-it-all sample spectra in this example. Type in the comments text box to add information about the reference spectrum. We'll add the chemical name but it could also indicate the source of the spectrum or any other pertinent information. Next, select the functional group, right-click, and choose Add Band. The Band dialog box opens. First, type the bond in the text box. While numbers are automatically subscripted, other special formatting, superscripts, triple bonds, arrows, and Greek letters can be added using the displayed codes. Type in values for the range, height, and width at half height. Note that if the range is too narrow, the peak may be missed. Using a broader range than the spectral peak may give better results. Make sure to review all the intensity and mode possibilities for the band before assigning these values. Click OK to accept the default parameters for the new user knowledge base. We will use the Draw It application to add the fragment structure. Double click in the fragment structure pane. The process can be repeated to add additional classifications, functional groups, and bands.
After the other bands have been added, click the X button to close the user knowledge base, which is saved automatically. Next, we demonstrate how to use the new user knowledge base. Open the butylamine sample file. Then, open the Preferences dialog box and click Add. Browse to and open the newly created user knowledge base. Click on the peak around 1620 wave numbers, then click the Correlate button on the toolbar. We see that the bands we added to the Amine A classification in our user knowledge base are displayed among the entries in the supplied knowledge base. Note that the knowledge base is supplied with know-it-all cannot be edited. This concludes the demonstration of how to create and use user knowledge bases in the know-it-all Analyze It applications.